same sort of problem. So I've got my ship. Uh, I'm going. I'm going with this. Um, there should be something in here that I need as well. I, I need hull module and hull reemplacement. Got a fuel scoop in there just in case, and I got a cheeky little frame ship booster. Vehicle bays, standard scarab, standard scorpion, with the hard points, enhanced AX multi cannons, and missile racks. All this will become a little bit later. Chris Walters, 07, Simon. 07. I say I've been to this site, it is quite something. Right, so pop that down a bit. Here we go. We want to go to it's all the way down here. It is. Uh, oh yeah, there's some content that's been that's been popping out, and we weren't made privy to any of this, right? Um, as as creators, this is the stuff that is typically just, like you say, just popped out, right? It has just popped out. So we're off to the triangulate sector, right? That's where we are, um, and that's deep in Thargoid space, is what it is well deep inside Thargoid space. The system we want is this one. Now, look where I am. I'm here. I've been messing about. There's Tyrannis. There's Thargoid controlled space. You can see all the green that's happening here. Did I put a caustic rack on? Uh, no, you're not going to need one. Trust me. Well, I say trust me. What do I know? Um, I lost my ship three times, but that was bringing it back into the site. Anyway, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Spinal, 07 Commander. So I'm currently messing about around with, um, if we look where I am, Bukabek, right? And then let's have a look where the Dedicant is. Right? You see, Dedicant's by there, right? So we're kind of in the same sort of area, but we're going to there, right? So it's not so far, 19 light years. It's a, it's a simple little hop is what it is. Um, let's see what we've got. Brilliant. Right, so got the ship. Good stuff. Here we go. I think I think the triangular sector may be relevant to this. We're going to get cracking. Because that's what it's all about. Getting cracking. Right. Here we go. And we're off. You need a nimble little ship for this. Something that can outrun Revenant that are going to interdict you on the way. So, Triangle I Sector, B, A, dash, A, space, D, 85. But these sites are popping up all over Thargoid controlled space, right? <sighs> right, we've cleared that. We're jumping. Okay. Go, 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 gadget ship. So yeah, good stuff. Did the dedicant yesterday. Got the logs. Got a video up on YouTube about the logs. And you know what? They were really well voice acted. I've got to say, they were really good. Really, really good. Also being interdicted already. Right? Already I'm being interdicted. 
Oh, look at this. Look at this. It's the Hair Bear Bunch. All power to the engines. Waiting for the frame shift drive to cool down. Oh, yeah. The audio logs were really good. I mean, they really must have stumped up the readies for that one. And, you know, you get that feeling that they were zealots. You know? But if you haven't seen it, um, check out the video and the logs there. It, it's on YouTube. It's on the channel. So I've got Thargoids, and as Roscoe P. Coltrane used to say, in hot pursuit. That's a little Dukes of Hazard reference for you young people. Right. Now Thargoids are going to be all over this place. They're, they're going to be everywhere. There we are, we're charging away. We're gonna zoom, zoom, zoom. We're off scare. Oh, okay. Exactly. Commander Belisario, 07 Commander. Hope you're doing okay this fine Thursday. And we're here already. Now, I have been here and I've mapped the entire system. And what we're looking for is that particular planet. But I reckon they're going to be on several other planets as well. And when you scan them with your surface scanner, it comes up with a biologic. But when you get closer, it comes up with a... An entry in your left panel that says Thargoid Barnacle Matrix. Long Vic. 07 Long Vic. See, look at this. We're only 11 minutes into the stream and we've already had a 1980s popular culture reference with the Dukes of Azad. We're on fire today. We really are on fire today. So, we're hammering along in whatever this is. I always get them confused. Chieftain, Challenger, Crusader, whatever. Uh, whatever that is. And it's quick. It's a fast old ship. Look at that. It looks lovely. Um, been loving the graphic tweaks since update 16 as well. Absolutely loving them. Um, it looks a little bit fresher. In my opinion. Chris Walters, Buford T. Justice did Hot Pursuit. The Buford T. Justice did do a really good... I'm in Hot Pursuit of the Bandit. Yeah. One of my favourite films, Smokey and the Bandit. But then again, I am a child of the 70s, right? Inglorious Reaper, 07. Hope you're doing okay today. We are rocking towards this. Um... We've got our flipper down. Westbound and down we are, right? Towards this planet. A little bit of a Smokey and a Bandit reference for you there. Um, where are you? Are you going to join the... Look, I've gone past it now. I've got, I've got to do a loop of shame. I love Smokey and a Bandit. In fact, I must make the kids watch it. And there's some really good... There's some really good um, documentaries on YouTube about it. You know, it's, uh, Jerry Lee Lewis, how he wrote the song. And he did it in a night, right? And it's iconic. Uh, all that sort of stuff. And they, they interviewed Burt Reynolds as well about the Trans Am and all that sort of stuff. Absolutely fantastic. Smokey and the Bandit. Love it. Is it westbound and down or eastbound and down? Eastbound and down. Can't remember. Anyway, it was good. It was not, normally it's on over Christmas, right? But like, um, I may have to buy it on DVD. I love that. The second one, I don't remember that much. I only did a third one without Burt Re Reynolds in it. And uh, that wasn't as good, obviously. But it's that Jerry Lee Lewis in it as the snowman. So there we go, right? 
we've scanned it. We've got our efficiency target at 100%, but that's how you basically scan the thing. As we, as we approach, you can see it pops up Thargoid Barnacle Matrix. Right? There it is. And just over there. I'm going to turn the mode off so we can see the planet in all its beauty. Ah, oh, here we go. Being interdicted. You got the box set of three? Oh, I've got to get on Amazon now. Who wants to donate to me on Twitch so I can go before payday so I can go and buy Smokey and the Bandit? Come on. I never ask you lot for nothing. I love that film. I think it's absolutely brilliant. Right, so as you can see, nice planet. Kalina. Hope I've spelt that. Well, hope I spelt that right. Right. I'm watching the stream uh, and everything else, and I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. And you know that's going to result in the rebuy. Right, so it's the other side. So let's zoom across. That there. That's your stellar screenshot. Right there, that is everybody. Look at that. How nice that looks. And it's not a crate. Um, we're going to get around the side of the planet. <laughs> Fish sticks. It is a cheeky Thursday stream. Finished work. I thought, do you know what? Time to get on. I didn't do anything with the dedicate and live. I watched Father Father Bill do it after I tipped him off because he was he was fishing around Thargoid's site, seeing what was going on. Um, I said, "No, Bill, you want to get yourself over." over to the HIP 19600 system. And I had a video out on it anyway. I just didn't have it in me to stream, I'm afraid. But um, this, this is quite the scientific discovery. And you all know we like a bit of science on this, on this program. We all like a bit of science. So there you go. Look at that. Whoa. In fact, I think this, this is a surprise, right? Given it's a three gigabyte update, it must have just been a case of upload the audio, upload the artifacts. And I think the Thursday tick, right, make it go live server side. Right, everyone. This is the area. Look at it. Just look at it. Look at it. That's where we're at. That there. See that there? That is a Thargoid Barnacle Matrix, that is. So a couple of things to point out, right? You've got like these reefy sort of like splindery, like nerve endings popping out, right, of the bottom. I know no one had any faith, to be fair. Even I thought, oh, it's going to be a bit of sound. Uh, it's going to be the scythe, and that's going to be it. But they have got something else in there. I think it's great. Um, the rocks are the rocks, right? But they're strange types of rocks, right? You've got, like, these nodule things. I don't think this is a barnacle at all. I think they're growing a ship. That's what I think. I think they're growing a ship right there. And you think, oh, yeah, it looks like it's just been stuck on. And it does a little bit. Because we're, we're still quite high up. I'm going to land over there, kind of out the way. And hopefully the Revenant won't get me. All power to the shields. And we're going to go in via the car. Right, and we're going to land about by there. Now, if anyone turns up 
like Thargoids, which they do, right, we'll have to dismiss the ship, but we will have a car knocking around. Now, what I found as well is, is that with the content camera, the external camera I'm using to get these shots for you, Inglorious, it has got a bit of a pelican look on it. That's why I like it. If you can see there straight away, there's some noddies knocking about. And when I say noddies, I mean noddies. But I've parked so far away, you can't really tell. But there are Revenant in there, right? Um, and they are vicious. So I think we've parked far enough away. Perhaps we could get a little bit closer. I don't know. You killed a scythe and recovered your escape pods. Jumped out a system, hyperdiction, and another scythe. I bet it, bet it was intense. And I've just kitted out a ship, Daniel, with um, the new AX weapons there. And um, I was in, I'm impressed with the amount of damage they can put down without the reload. I'm going to see if I can put that down there. Right? Now. Let's talk loadouts. You're not going to need the Artemis. There's nothing I have found to scan here at all whatsoever. I need something that's going to pack a bit of a punch. We're going to go with the Dominator suit. Right? Which is Brill. We're going to get that on. Um, we're going to get ourselves in. We're going to go in with a Scarab. Right? Perhaps first. Hmm. Well, Scorpion, we'll try that. I'm in my private group. I am. Who was that then? Ranger! 07 Commander. Hope you're doing okay today. Hope you're doing okay today. Right. Now, I have given you all the benefit of some icons as well. So as you can see in the chat, boom. If I type in colon hi. Everyone should have a miniature schnauzer high icon. There he is, look. Whee, there you go. And there's other ones as well you can use as a gift to you lot. So let's get the car out. Go for a little bit of a trundle. Oh, look at that. See, the car won't go out, look. I'm stuck. Can we go out, go out the side? Yeah, we're going to try go out the side way, look. Make it, make it a little bit easier. And there's loads of these outcrops knocking around. Right, that... We can get what we want and see what we want before, hopefully... I was, I was between a rock and a hard place. Hopefully before any of the Revenant turn up or if any of the Thargoids turn up because normally someone's turned up by now and I am scanning the skies a little bit if you know what I mean so okay brilliant um, there's the Scarab I'm a good old trundle that's what it's all about And I think it's a really good sort of like area at the moment. Yeah, we're back in the cockpit now. Let's put the lights on. Not that we need many lights. Who we got? Who was that? Doc 89107 Commander. We're gonna turn this up. Now, why are we going over here? Let's turn our night vision on a little bit so we can see what's going on. Now, is these trees I was talking to you about? Fish sticks, you haven't got to because I got you back there. I've got a full video on all the logs. We've got organic material there. All right. Let's take, let's take a little look outside. 
look at this. It's like a chrysalis, right? It's like a chrysalis. Bit translucent. <clears throat> right, so you can see through it. Ooh, look at that. Let's just take, the, let's just allow that to sink in a little bit. Right, it's organic. And this is not the best thing. Doc, thank you, thank you for thinking of me, thinking of me as such. Um, have another 07, Command. That's very nice for you to say. If you hang around for 30 minutes, you will get a ship pack. Hang around for an hour, you'll get another one. And then another one after that. There's three knocking about for Elite Dangerous Partner streams. So hopefully you'll find it interesting. So that there, that there, right, is organic. We know it's organic, right, because it says it's organic material. Now... There's a bit of that knocking about. Let's disembark. Inglorious. It is indeed new, Commander. There's the cart. Thank you, Doc, for the subscription. That's great. Look at this. Look at it. Let's, let's get the bounce on. Yes, folks, look at that. It's, woo, it's a bit Mystic Meg, isn't it? Let's get up here so we can have a good look. And if we do that, that's me, that is. Got all the lights on. <clears throat> look at that. There it is. Transparent slime. Now you know us, <clears throat> Bud Trooper. Oh, we're doing a little bit of exploration. There's an absolutely brand new Thargoid site that's been discovered, Bud Trooper. And it is called a Thargoid Barnacle Matrix. And it's got these trees, which is what I'm currently stood on. Um, here we go. Now. Like I say, we do things for science. Well, when I say you don't have to, by all means, do it, right? Shooters. Perhaps that's a bit too close range for shooters. But plasma, right? Whoa, look at that. Trust me when I say there's a ball. All right, where's it gone? Something's gone over there. Something's gone over there. There is a ball. There it is. Look. Look at that. We're going to go and get the car and we're going to scoop that stuff up, right? Right. Where's the car? There it is. Now, will it be a material or will it be something that's going to take up like space in the hold? I don't know because my SRV was kind of, well, it got stuffed. Organic material. We got, we got to see if we can find that now. We got our scooper out, haven't we? Cargo scoop is indeed deployed. Now we got to go and find the bloody thing. Where's that gone? I think it was around here. There it is, there it is, there it is. It's a mining fragment. I think something's woken up. Something, something's woken up. I think something's jumped in. It's that Ricardo bloke again. He's been shooting stuff off trees. No? Okay, cool. Right, so it's a mining fragment, right? Four. What have we got? 
course we can't see because bloody things. Right. Coral sap. Did you see that? Right? It's coral sap. Now you just know. Let's up mine in. Oh, this is right down your street. This is. Look at this. Coral sap. I think coral sap is going to be some sort of like Thargoid armor, I would say. I don't know. It could be a Thargoid. Or Simon, you're just the wordsmith today, aren't you? Eh? Right? He's doing it again, everyone. He discovered the name called the Thimpits. And now he's calling them Tharballs. Something, innit? Okay, here we go. Uh, what we're going to do is... Get rid of... I've shot something for some reason. Get rid of some of that. I realise I've, I've still got... Um, Steam running on my computer, and that's gonna hurt an edge. And what else? What else can I get rid of? Epic Games. Why have I got that running? Um, Coral Sap, everybody. Toxic Cargo. Oh, okay. Well, let's get back to the car. It's toxic. It's toxic. It's toxic. It's toxic. Bit Britney Spears. Know what I'm saying? Right, so this is toxic cargo. Again, right? For science. It's degrading me SRV. Now, I don't know if I've got a toxic resistant cargo rack here. And if anything, I don't think I'll have much. Exactly, because <laughs> someone bring lo some someone bring a bloody cargo. Right, let's not get carried away. Let's get to the ship. I don't even know if, it, if it's actually on the ship. If I've got bagoid storage. Are you joining, Sim? I'm in the private group. Who's that over there? They're the commander in the house. Let's board the ship. Okay, so, so far, so good, right? So far, so good. Let me know when the ads are finished, because it's not giving me any indication that I have. What modules have I got here? Not much by the look of it. Car I've got a standard cargo rack here. It's going to rot right the way through it. And I didn't know, right? I just didn't know. So I think the best thing to do is just get it and um, have a go, innit? Back from the ads, fantastic. So I don't think I've got a proper cargo rack here, to be fair. Looking at my modules, I've just got a 32-inch normal cargo rack. There it is. So I think the best thing to do is just get as many as I can and get back to the station. But I think they're going to be a material we're going to need um, to do something. And to be fair, my fleet carrier, 
What am I going to do with that? Yeah, I'm already degrading the ship as we speak. So, time is of the essence. Yeah, let's go pick up some more. So who's that commander over there then? Jasper Lit. Hello, Jasper. There he is, look. You've already got four. Brilliant. So we're going to get back over there. Perhaps I should have used the other scarab, really. Four tons there. Well, that, that one's rotting me ship now. It, it's rotting right now. Is what it's doing. Let's get ourselves over there. So we can pick up two in here. But it just shows you, you know, time is now of the essence, isn't it? There he is, look. There it is. Organic material. There's the ball, look. Keep your eyes on the far ball. There he is, there he is, there he is. This our mining fragment, and you just know, you just know. This is gonna be, this is gonna be something, and you're gonna need millions of it. So it's already rotting my life support. Cargo hold at maximum capacity. All right, Jasper. Brilliant. That might be the way. I don't know if I if I drop. We went through this before, didn't I? If I drop him, can you pick him up? I don't know. I haven't got the correct rack. I don't think my carrier is too far away from here anyway. I have to check when I get back to the ship. So yeah, we are getting the materials is what we're doing. So, so far, so good. Oh. Well, I reckon they're building a ship. Because it looks, from, from the air, I'll take off in a minute. And, um... Well, we've got to see if things, if things wake up. I think we've got him. I want to see how far I am from my carrier to here. Because we're in, we're in the vicinity of Tyrannus.
There's my shiny ship. That's rotting from the inside. So we've got three of these. Kind of just want to get them on the carrier. Because you know there's going to be a new item or a new thing, right? And that new item or new thing, you're going to need the coral sap. That's right, that's right, they are. They're, they're around the centre, so they're guarding something in the centre. So, I've got missiles. Yeah, I've got missiles and everything. Power to the shields. Yeah, the are, look. Here they come. Yeah, the missiles work on them. If we get down, perhaps they'll come down a bit. Else, I've got to be a bit cunning with what's happening here. There's one over there. There's hundreds of the sausages. Look at them. 25,000. So perhaps they're just like a bit skimmerish. You know, we're doing it. We're doing it. So they're behind me. They're behind you. Here we go. Come on, fire, fire, fire. Now they're firing all sorts of stuff. So I think you've got to be a bit cunning with it. But as we're now out of the way, I can show you what I mean. I think they're growing a ship, like barnacles, my backside. That looks like a ship or a base. What do you think? Protective membrane scrap from the sides. Mm. Chris, are you using the new weapons or the old ones? There you go, baby. And you can see the Revenant from here, look. Right? You can see him. So let's just... Nuke the place from orbit. There they are, look. Oh, we're back. Attack. He's going, oh, he's back, Mr. P, Mr. P, he's back again. So I suppose if you had the patience, you really could sort of like stick it to the man. But like, I don't know where they're coming from yet. So I, I've shot a couple. Oh, I had one. Woo! Like, he's a little bit out of his reach, isn't he? But anyway. So, what we're going to do, we're going to go and drop that stuff off. Okay. 
well, they say it's a barnacle matrix, right? Okay. I mean, have the barnacles sites, have they evolved? Are we going to get matter alloys from them? Are they using the meta alloys for fuel? Um, is this them planting fuel barnacles for fuel? Or are they going to grow a base? That looks like a base to me. I'm just saying. Paul, 07, how are you doing it? I was doing a little bit of exploration early this morning. I was playing in open and I saw a lot of commanders around the particular area that I'm going down there. They're all over the place. All over the place. So, onto the problem at hand, because you can think you can see things are rotting. So we need to go to. There's the carrier. So it's not far from the carrier. We're all right. We're going to jump to the carrier, baby. If the ship gets there. Only 21 light years. Woo! Of course, we're obscured. We're obscured. But it's the Thargoid Barnacle Matrix. That's that's what you're after. That's what you're at, right? Right there. With knobs on. Um, well, we're going to do more for science stuff in a minute, Fish Sticks. Right, I'm going to drop some of this off. Perhaps modify the ship slightly. And we're going to do more science. Because what we're going to... We're going to turn all the other volume off. And we're going to listen to it. Now, I got, like I say, I got a video. Which should be ready in about an hour. It's cooking. Let's have a look on the YouTubes. Because sometimes it renders... It renders quicker. And I want it, I want it to be really in... The best quality. I've possibly got. 33 minutes left, right? And it, it would have rendered. Um, at the moment, it's currently knocking about. Anyway, yeah, so. We're going to jump to the carrier. Oh, it's all for science. It's all for science. So as some of you have noticed, I've passed 14,000 subscribers on the YouTubes. Um, thank you very much, all the supporters. I, I just, I'm thrilled by it. 14,000, woo! Um, and a lot of it is down to Elite Dangerous. Most of it is allowed, it's down to Elite Dangerous. Um, a bit of Subnautica as well. Right, where's my... Blair my, blair my fleet carrier. Blair my fleet carrier, they said. There we go, Ricardo's gaming fleet carrier. Let's get ourselves over there then. Well, look at that sign, I didn't die. Could be a new supply of meta alloys. It's long been theorized that Thargoids use meta alloys as fuel, right? So, you know, um, could be a new fuel source, right, for the ships. But when we get closer, it makes. I know I'm not there yet. I know I could crash. It could be like, yeah, power supply's gone. Boom. Now I'm just there floating. You are up, missile racks. Um. What was I saying? Yes, that's what I was saying. Long been surmised that it's been a fuel source. However, when we get closer to them, and I'll turn the game volume up, right? And you'll hear this in my video coming out in 33 minutes time. It makes the same clicking sounds as the scythe. Now, it might just be they're reusing the same waves, uh, sounds, that sort of stuff. But usually Frontier Sound Department is really good.
There's the carrier. Let me dock. Gear down. So, I know now, we know that missiles indeed do affect the Revenant at those bases. Which is fab. By the way, can everyone still hear me? Because we had a problem on recent streams, right, where there was an ad, and then people couldn't hear me. So, here's the thing. I think it was that Franken face stuff for the icons. I think that might have been a bit dodge, right? So, I turned it off. And I, I did, a bit of, did a bit of YouTubing. Transfer all to carrier. There you go. Um, still got a bit of space. What ships have I got here? I have all of the ships. Who's got a caustic resistant? There's one there. I think I've got that on my caustic conda. Which I've got elsewhere. Plenty have got like, you know, the the one F that'll hold two tons of. Um, and I think that's okay. But help me, Conda, what's that got? Hmm. Clops a conda. Now that, that this is this is where it'll be. One F. I mean, standard cargo rack, so it's got to be on another ship. My caustic cutter. There, it's got a 4E on the caustic cutter. We'll drop that. I mean, to be fair, I could just fly that down there. Um... I know, I've done with it. It's a big old ship, mind, isn't it? It's a big old ship. Let's store that module. Pop that on there. So, I basically know I've got something, right? Um, back to me shipyard. Because this is a tough little ship, this. I like this. I like this. I do like this ship. Is it that one? Proteus Explorer. There you go. Let's see if I can get that in there. Outfit in. Yeah, we can ditch the five. Pop the four in. There you go. Now, is there anything else I think I need? Hmm. Don't know. Um, I have all of the things here. Don't need that so far. I think it's tough enough um, that it won't rot. In regards to the weapons, got me enhanced multis. Lovely. Got a beam laser. Nice. Got missile racks. Fantastic. Um, what else have I got that I could possibly put in there? Nothing that springs to mind. Um. They're elsewhere. I mean, I probably got one, I got my can buy, but like, you know, what's the point? I don't think it's going to be an option. We'll use Simon for the science on that. 
Right, brilliant, fantastic. Uh, counter graphics, sell that page. Thank you. Right, let's get back into it and do more science, right? That's where we're off. Uh, it's Jasper. F Deb has helped you figure what's happened with those trick twitch drops then? What what happened with them? I like this ship. It's a roughy tufty little ship. That's what it is. We're jumping. How cool is this? So, again, 07 Commanders in the chat. I hope you're doing well. If you're new here, I am Ricardo. Um, and welcome. We're doing things for science. In fact, I should have put that in the tagline. I think I will. For science. Update. Interdicted. Oh no. ZX Becky, how's it going? I am doing absolutely fine. From the desert sands to space, I see you. Yes. Is that Rathakan? I'm being beefed. I'm being beefed by glaives. We're off. Look at that. They've turned me frame shift off. Sausages. We're keeping our pedal down now. Come on, is it? Why is my drive disabled? Is this just taking me out already? Shields are offline. I'm going to be absolutely mullered here, aren't I? I'm chewing through my hull. You got that right, Ruh Row Shaggy. No. Oh yeah, here we go. I'm getting absolutely beasted. Look at this. He's taking my... Well, they're after me, aren't they? I mean... Right, do you know what? Take one of these bloody buggers with me. Right. Oh, they don't... They've taken the engines off. Here we go. I know. Look at it. I mean, it's... Even the guns aren't working. Oh no, they've taken the vehicle hangar, it's inoperative. 
So, just in case you were all wondering what's going on here. This is kind of looking like it. <laughs> nah, I think you're all right. I, I, it, it, this is, this is kind of like. That might be, that might be the way to do it, a V1. Redeploy. Confirm and redeploy. We're redeploying. And we're going to jump again. Yeah, they, they re, there's the pre-engineered G5. Yeah, it might do. Right. Let's try that again. Where are we going? We're going there. All the way down there. Excellent, it's still programmed in. And as soon as I got in there, I started boosting. And they took me out. I think it's a case of get shooting with the turrets Yeah, target only will do. So I'll just target one. Just in case something happens. Yes, well... Mm. Two glaives. I don't think it'll lay down enough damage with the three turrets I've got on here uh, to do it. The Scouter Condor I've built, which I'll rename to the Glaver Condor, that'll do it no problem because I have all of the guns on it. Right, so we're here. Lovely. We want 15. 15B. Let's go. Yeah, something was said about ECMs doing it, but then it all kind of like went away. Mr. Kuzum. I hope that's how I pronounce your name. Welcome, Commander. This is all about the new Thargoid Barnacle Matrix that's been discovered post-update 16. And as a result... There you go. It is. They are very good, isn't it? It's very good. The dedicant logs are brilliant. Um, let's just check if I can release that video as well. Oh, yes, I can. Let's do it. We're going to set it as a premiere. Public. Set as a premiere. Publish. Get it out there. Let's see how it goes. What's the worst that can happen? Let's just get that get that message out there, I say. We've had four ad breaks and a half and how's that? I mean they're set to like whatever Twitch is being set. Have you got another stream running in the background? Slowing it down a bit. Setting a stream marker so people can find whatever happens easier. Thargoid Barnacle Matrix on 15B. Here we go. There you go, Grey Magic. Genj. 
07 to you as well. Hope you're doing fine today. So the music you're hearing is Miguel Johnson, if anyone was wondering. So if you're looking to having a little bit of nice music on your stream or listening to something that's very sort of Vangelis-esque, or a little bit Battlestar Galactica, the Ron Moore sort of like tribal, which I quite like, um, Miguel Johnson's your boy. Now, normally I get interdicted about by here, or I have in the past. We are on approach. There. There you go. We're going in. Oh, let's put that out of the way. There it is. We're about to drop. We don't know what the material's for yet, or if indeed if there are any other materials that have been released since the Thursday tech. As you can see, right? And if I just park the ship there, that's what we're seeing. This is the Thargoid Barnacle Matrix. Now we've been here and we've picked up some material and that's all been well and good. And that's been coral. What was it? It was coral. Coral something or other. I can't remember. It was coral. Whatever. Anyway, that's what it was. It was coral something. And it does look a little bit like coral. Right? These sort of like tendrils, these nerve endings that are coming up out of the ground. Right, so we're going to get down, get down, we're going to get down, uh, we're going to park kind of out of the way. And we're going to land around about by here and then we're going to trundle over. But we want to be as far away from the Revenant, because they're going to beef us. As we possibly can. But I want the point defense, if possible, to help us out from the ship. I reckon we can probably park around about here. Obviously, when it changes blue. Uh. Perhaps I'll get a little bit more gentle. Nope, it's not going to do it. This is what irritates me. Well, a lot of things irritate me, but like... This irritates me. Come on, I want to find somewhere to park. There's probably a rock somewhere there is in there, you know. Um, don't want to get too close to these things. Because they're going to spew Revenant. So I think let's... Somewhere by here will be all right. You can see we're getting the flashes of blue already. Right, we're down. Power to the shields. Yeah. 
There you go. Got to get ourselves in there for a nose about. And that's what we're going to do, right? We're going to have a bit of a nose about. So we're going to get in. We're getting the car. I'll use a scorpion. The light's on. And we're gonna do the bit we can do the science bit now. I I think there's something like that, fish sticks. I think they're I think they're growing chips. Cause it's a big old beast. Whatever it is. That if it's a barnacle site, it's the biggest barnacle site I've seen. I think it's a shipyard. or a ground base. It's something a bit fruity, like that. So here we are, right? It's a sort of like the chrysalis sort of thing, right? So, let's get out. Um, manage inventory, cancel. Let's Let's change the suit, because my Maverick suit's got the ability to jump higher. Right? Loadouts. Mav. Here we go. And we're going to do some science. So what we're going to do is we're going to pause the Miguel Johnson music. As good as it is. Right? And then I'm going to... Hopefully... Get right up there. Oh, come on. Come on. God's sake. There we go. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to beef up the sound on this. Can you hear that? To do. Can you hear that? Have I got to bump up the sound on, on the game? Audio. Sound effects. There you go. Can you hear that?
That's right, Lindeb. I it's that is there it's so something inside that. Right. It's a blanket. <laughs> and I thought, well, here's the thing. Yes, te yes, you can tech gin, you can indeed shoot it. Now, I was thinking, right? If you shot this, now we've shot one earlier on in the stream, but if you shot this, ooh, right, ooh, um, is someone going to pop out of there and do you in? Which is what I was thinking was going to happen. But if we look, it's definitely a scurrying sound, isn't it? We are minute to it. And there's all that, like, pearlescent stuff over there that's reflecting the light on all of this, too. Well, yeah. I should have a voting button for bits, shouldn't I? Shall I shoot it? It does. It does. Watch. Are you ready? We'll sh I'll show you. Right, here we are. You ready? Plasma pistol. A bit like Indiana Jones, isn't it? Now, if I go and get the car, let me just turn the sound back down a bit because you know, I don't want you blowing your speakers. How's that? Um, we know it's like coral, coral something or other. I gotta get up there now, haven't I? Hang on. I've fallen down a crevice, haven't I? Well, that's just brill, that is. <laughs> there you go, see, we, we do this science. to the Batmobile. So we got one there, mining fragment, coral sap. There it was. We're going downhill. There it is. Now we now we've got the we got the ship over here. Right, can you all hear me all right now? Because I've I've turned the sound down a little bit, but I don't want it. Is, can anyone hear all right? That's okay. 
Well, the jump times are basically server... Yeah, it is. It's They're corrosive. Linda. That's, I've got a class 4 corrosive rack on the ship. Not like before. So as you can see, coral sap. Lovely. Uh, and, you know, it's, it's a cargo item, so it's not a material. It's a physical item, which I now have two tons of. Um... The galactic average isn't very good, is it? Yeah, those bark mounds, have they got something to do with it? Have they been there all along, these bark mounds? Because it does look a little bit similar to what we're seeing here, isn't it? Um, let's go for a walk. Why not? Well, actually, going for a walk could be a bit of a fag. Let's get the other scarab out. And let's take a drive. Does the coral sap make sound? When you shoot it, it sounds metallic. And you can destroy it. And we'll do that. We'll do that now. We're going to do that for science. Like I don't want to get too close and worry up the Revenant because they'll be on me. So we're going to do this little bit for science, and then we're going to go into the main the main area. Commander Grof. Grof? 07, Commander. Commander Inuit. That's all I can see on my panel. Congratulations. Thanks for, see thanks for finding us. Nice to have you. Right, so the question was, for science, I'll just make, put a marker in, do one of those so I know what I'm doing, is, do they make a sound? Well, we don't need that, do we? It's a bit overkill. There we go. Right. Is it going to roll right through me? So it's not rolling through me. It's a bit like... It's a bit like Kaplunk, yeah? Let's turn that up. Actually, it does. Let me... Um, here we go. Maximum sound. Listen to this.
Just getting me set. I'm just lining up my stellar screenshot. Hang on. What is it? That's coral, coral sap. We shot those things like sort of chrysalis or barnacle off the trees. It's produced that. But should you should we all be hearing it? Try to scan this site with the new Titan scanner we have. I haven't. I haven't bothered. I don't think it's going to give us that. It might. You got that clicking, that predator type clicking that we've heard from the scythe. Is it caustic? I haven't died yet. I've been sat next to it for a couple of minutes. Um, let's have a look. No, no, it's not. It's not even draining any power. That's a bloody good idea. What if we get some of that and stick it in there? Hmm. We'll do that for science. I love that sound. I, well, I can't do it because, like, I'm not a predator. But, like, um, it's that clicking, isn't it? And then that sort of, like, squirrely, sort of, like, scurrying sound. If I'm to guess, and this is a guess, I would say collecting this. Is there a mouse inside? Sounds like, isn't it? Oh, it's caustic in the cargo rack. Yes, in all of it. All 57? Oh, 07, by the way. Definitely. You know, you can push it uphill. You could play football with this. Perhaps that's something you could do. We could get a load of commanders together and play football. Or kaplunk. It's, um, pick it up so, you know, we're not here just doing nothing. Oh, I, yeah, I was going to shoot it, wasn't I? Yeah, hang on then. Sorry about that. Um, right, now watch your speakers because I want you to hear the sound when you shoot it. So. With a bullet weapon, it tinks, right? Like it's obviously with plasma, just just incinerated it, didn't I? But yeah, you, do you know what? I mean, I don't know how much of this we're gonna need, or whether it's just like you know. Could be. Do you know what? This could be a new power source. We just don't know, do you? So only two tons capacity on this.
But you can see here. It does look like coral, doesn't it? So hats off to the Frontier dev team. We're going to go up and have a look at that now, right? We're going to go put them in the ship, which is over there, and we're going to go and uh, have a go. Golden Samurai, 07 Commander, hope you're doing okay today. Yes, it is spooky. Okay, I hope that uh, the sound of the game is not too overwhelming now, because I've just turned it down a bit. Right, we're flippers down now, on our way back to the ship. Because I didn't want to park too close, because I didn't want to lose the ship. You can hear the ad, but can't see it. Okay. I think Twitch has got problems, right? Who knows? Ads are, are on about every 30 minutes. Which is like, that's the kind of Twitch standard. Right. Invitation received. I've got an invitation. I've got an invitation from Simon. Right. Here we go. So I've got four, five, six, I've got seven of them now. It's, it's a barnacle site, but it's a barnacle matrix site. So it's not like your, your standard barnacle site. And it says it's a barnacle matrix. See, and that's where we've been. But we're going to get ourselves in there now, because what's the worst that can happen? It is coral. It looks like coral. It looks like a reef. Right, okay. Right then, right then, right then. Um, let's deploy the car. Of course, it's been fixed now. And let's get over there. So, for everybody on Twitch and on YouTube, you're about evenly split tonight thanks very much for watching it's great glad to have you all here there's simon up there look well that's where he jumped in he's probably on the ground by now twitch is stoned might need to refresh Ah, but you've still got audio this time. Okay. Oh, Simon is federal dropship. Now, I don't want to get too close to this in the car because the Revenant are going to come out. So I'm going to kind of park up by there, right, everyone? And, um... See how it goes. Right, okay, here we go. There's the car. Everyone remember where we parked? Of oh, course, a voyage home reference. Oh, they've seen Simon. Oh shit, is that my ship? Bollocks. See Simon, you've tipped him off. Woo! 
Yes. Science, baby. Don't shoot the car. So are they all basically infatuated by Simon? Over there, look. Very low gravity over here. It's again, so I started, so I started blasting. Don't bring him over here. One, two, three, four, five. But where do they come from? That's what I want to know. So this Maverick suit is a grade five Maverick suit and it's got extended run assist and extended jump. So I'm giving it the Iron Man, right? There he comes. So far, so good. <laughs> Skeech! 07, Commander, been a long time. Commander Starwolf, 07. So I came here first off in a DBX and jumped in. And I got completely and utterly mullered because the Revenant took me out as I brought the ship in. Well, we're going to have a look now. We're going to do it for science. This is the kind of... I think this is a ship. It, I don't think it is a barnacle. Oh, now they're attacking the SRV. You bastards. It's a shame you haven't got a button that says the SRV. Um... Oi, like Batman did. Come. Car comes to you. That's what we want. You got him. Brilliant. Right, okay. It's all happening over there. Look at this. That's some Jurassic Park stuff, that is. So we're gonna put the torch on. Hang on, hang on. Can you see this? There's some sort of black guff going on. Did you see that? Was that me imagining it? That might have been all the calamity that Simon was doing, but there was... I thought something was going to pop through then. Just look at the bones. Is that you, Simon? Doing that. Oh no, they're all... It's doing something. It's a puff. Do you see the puffy things? We're going to record this for science. I thought I was imagining it, but no, it's, it's doing a puffy thing, isn't it? Oh, look at this. You can see it. Can you see that you saw the guff round the bones, though? Right, so we're going to do this again. We're going to leave it here. It's for science, right?
Now you all saw that, right? All rocks and stuff sort of like gaffed up. I thought a portal was opening. I thought, hmm, okay. It's doing it again, look. There you are, everyone. This is doing. We're doing this for science, right? Mike Molsey, 07 Mike. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's not an ammonia world. Simon, can you confirm it's not an ammonia world, is it? I, I'm pretty sure it's CO2. Yeah, we're going to see if we can get a better angle on that. I, I'm getting I'm getting to the, the limit of where my camera can be. See if we get it from that angle. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It's me thing. Yep. It is a bit farty, isn't it, Commander Golden, Golden Samurai? You're not wrong. This is some heavy stuff. 21 sites. And I bet you they're all around here as well. What's he doing? What's going on over here? Of course, it might have nothing to do with what's going on over here, mind. It's like the 4th of July. Or bonfire night. Don't play with fireworks, Simon. You know what happens. Oh, they're shooting, they're shooting their stuff, look. So, this is the, the main center part here, right? So, we've had a good look at that. Um, it's just doing it again, look. get ourselves over for a trot. Could be a bit of terraforming. All this Uber Meg, 07 by the way, is new since update 16. It's like, that just looks like iron, doesn't it? What am I going to do with that pistol anyway? Let's guess get let's get moving. Well, the sky the scouts do redeploy do resupply the revenants, right? On the AX power up missions, they do. So, as you can see, we've got a couple of things going on over there. I can see revenants over there. I can't see any revenants over here. Not to say there aren't any. I mean, I can see one grow. I can see one glowing there. I don't see anything over there yet. But for science, no, nope. no one's woken up over there. So let's get over there and have a look. All at 25th hour time. I actually thought there was going to be a portal there and ships were going to come out of it. I had a funny feeling. But this, it's, it just looks like a Thargoid base, this aspect. It's not a barnacle. I'd be surprised if it is.
This is a bit reminiscent of some of the Halo missions. I mean, it, there could there could be a barnacle aspect to it, spikies, right? But all this that looks like a mothership side of things. Apophis. Oh seven. There is some strange old rock going on here. Which I am now stood upon. I spoke to Go on, go on, go on. Oh, they're everywhere, look. It's all going wrong. It's all going wrong. It's all going wrong. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. We're gonna die on this moon. Go on. Well, you all heard that, didn't you? I'm dead. But I should respawn in the ship in orbit, which just means that the SRV ain't going to be there. It's only the second time this stream, but don't worry about it. We do this so you don't have to. And will my cargo be on there? I haven't lost any cargo, it says. Lux Dex 07 Still got me still got me stuff. Right, where is it? Let's turn this down. Don't wanna blow your speakers. Right. Where is Simon? Simon's there. Yeah, we are a bit. Try and whiz it around. There we go. SRV still there. Good. We can go and pick it up. Enhanced Xeno Scanner. I'm not getting anything. There's Revenant. Shoot me, will you? Where's the car, Sim? Yeah, 
Yeah, it'll be on my head if I disembark. Let's let me go and park. Let me go park the ship. I don't want to be too far away. Somewhere here would be nice. And then if they if they pop up, I can just dismiss it. We'll see. Disembark. Yeah, don't see the uh don't see the SRV. See if we can get over there and have a good look. Don't think so, can't see it. There you go. I knew I knew they'd um I knew they'd be having a go. No great shake, so. It could have, couldn't it? We can see if we can get over there. Of course, we've, we've found out good discovery in there so far. Let's just hoof it. We'll hoof it and see how it goes. Do you know what I mean? We just don't know. We just don't know what's going to happen. No, I've tried the genetic sampler. No dice. In hindsight, if I had the scarab, I know you can scan some barnacles. But so far, I haven't been able to scan anything. I haven't been able to scan anything here. And Commander Andreu, 07. So far, no one's woken up, as in Revenant. Good job, because I'm knackered by the look of the condensation on this commander. Let's just pop our head up, see what's going on. Oh, there's one. There he is, look. He's gone. Oh, there's someone coming. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. Shields. Like, they know. They know I'm here. They know I'm here. They know I'm here. How far down here are they going to come, though? Simon Mulladham. That's the first thing I did see. When I got down here, I thought, right, get into the Artemis suit, get the genetic sampler out. But so far, nothing. Look at this, bits of revenant everywhere. It's like these. Yeah, we've seen these before, right? These sort of like mandibles coming up out of the ground.
Now I'm probably going directly into, right, where they come from. So this is very much like a, reminds me of an oyster. Right, okay, we're falling. We're stuck in the hole. Right, now you listen to this sound. Right, I'm gonna turn the sound up again. Uh, let's. Shield deactivated. Right, here we go. It's like a bit of a wet cave, stalactite, stalagmite sort of aspect. For those of you in the UK, Wookie Hole. Here's Kevin, she's um, ready. Now there was a mark on it somewhere on the outside I saw like a designation. Yes, kind of not doing anything, really. Just making sounds. Well, show caves. That's right, De Camper. Be getting all that sort of like oozing, squelching sort of like sound, aren't you? A bit like a tap running. Like in an old rusty warehouse. That's what you're getting. So we've been there and we've seen those black guff things. We think, well, could be terraforming. We don't know. We've had a look at the trees, and, and we've shot the trees. And we've had a look at that coral clay, right? And then we know there's revenant knocking about somewhere, but we don't know where they come from. It's like I'm looking. Any ideas, Simon, where they're coming from? Could be the FDev staff room, yeah. They spawn around you, mm. just appear out of the ground, a bit like the Guardian stuff. Dana Rogoff, that's right, Ducati Bob. Dana Rogoff Caves. So, miss, miss, where are we going on our school trip this year? Dana Rogoff. Of course, all the female teachers in Wales sounded like men. Dana Rogoff Caves. 
Now, sir, sit down, eat your semolina pudding. That's what it's all about. So, yeah, so... It does look like a coral reef, doesn't it? What do we think? Twitch didn't like that comment. <laughs> what, Dan Rogoff? He's back. So, so what have we really seen here with this? And it's a nice place to be, right? It's a nice place to be in game. This is where we are. Great. We've seen some black guftiness around the spires. See, it's actually doing it on command. Black guffed. Hello, Paul. 07. <laughs> We've certainly got a Welsh contingent in tonight. Right? So, and we've got Revenant here. Okay. Brilliant. Not scavengers, Revenant. And they're tough. We've got these pods. We don't know what they're not doing anything, but they're making squelching sounds. We've got on the trees, and you can just make them out on those trees, like a sort of a chrysalis, which if you shoot, you get a material called coral clay. Brilliant. So sort of like, and. You know? And. Oh, here come the Revenant. Look, they put, oh, that Commander Ricardo's in here somewhere I can smell him. All right. And they never find me because I'm playing hide and seek, isn't it? So, so far, that's, that's the score. I haven't seen any doors. What, we're talking about a Grelic? Is that what we're talking about, Uber Meg? There doesn't look like to be anywhere, any receptacle you can put them in. That's, that's the problem. I mean, over here, there is nothing there. Yet. Too many ads? I don't know what's causing the ads. Look at this. This adds this ad the ads business. This is getting a bit of a pain. Let's have a look. Where would I find that? Now. I don't know. Billiard. Right, so the ads are set to three minutes every hour.
or should I try keep pre-roll ads on my channel? I don't know. Can anyone give me any advice here? Yeah, I'm not even sure it's me, to be fair. I mean, I'm looking on Twitch settings right now. Um, subscribers get ad-free viewing. Right. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Leaderboard, yeah, yeah, yeah. You are uh, revenue, yeah, yeah. Uh, Increase, yeah. Okay, ads. Activate your schedule to automatically run ads. Every 30 minutes... Three minutes an hour. That's what it says. There you go. Well, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Anyway, back to this. I'm here and on 37%, so I think it might be worthwhile bringing in the ship. Now, where's the ship going to come? We are searching the heavens. Oh yeah, here it comes. Now that looks fantastic, doesn't it? I'm just wondering, and um, we're aboard the ship now, just 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 to get the next SRV out. Puffer J, 07 Commander, we'll get the other. So I've got a traditional scarab, right? And then we'll send the ship away because we don't want a ship getting shot. But as you know, this has got a better set of sensors on it. So let's dismiss the ship. Now here's the thing. Compu scanner, right. You know what? We've got a discovery made. Two. Thargoid entry, Thargoid barnacle matrix. Press O to open the con the codex. We're opening the codex. Right, okay. Yeah, found that, found that, found that. Found the barbs, yeah. Um, where it's been reported, confirmed location. And that's where we are in the codex. Have an evolved root light structure which elevates them from the ground in some cases. No worries. So, where was it? hang on, I've got the handbrake on.
More discoveries being made. Coral tree. Okay. See, we all got in. We all got into the the scorpion first because we thought, yes, war and all the rest of it. Oh, we got up. Right, lovely. Let's go and see what else we can scan up. Now we're in the scarab. So being in the scarab is, is a bit different. That doesn't look like there's anything to scan. So Loki, well, check out the channel and you'll find out we are at a Thargoid Barnacle Matrix, which is a new sort of Thargoid Barnacle site. Guarded by the Revenant. I kind of want to get into the middle again. Is this going to... Is this going to let me scan it? Coral tree. Coral tree. Yeah, let's go and scan. Don't shoot me. I'm doing stuff for science. Simon, take him out. There are a lot. Discovery made. Barnacle barbs. Okay, so what we're going to do, let's, uh, for science, mind you, there he is. Well, there you have it. Um, I thought you would have been able to have scanned that. And you can pick that up. Yes, of course, you can pick it up with, with the cargo scoop, but it will degrade me. So I kind of want to get up there, get into the center, scan some more stuff, get the, get the discoveries. Yep. I'm gonna go. Up, I'm gonna go up to the main center thing. I've already scanned one. Well, this is gonna end, isn't it? <laughs> but we're doing this for science. Oh seven, Kevin. Right, so I, I'm out of stuff I can potentially scan now unless I use the composition scanner on the ship, which I could do. Oh, it's a bit tough.
align ship with trajectory. See, Thargoid and Biological. Well, the Biological is like a... Well, there's nothing exciting. It's just like one of those Biological patches, right? But the Thargoid Barnacle site, which is here, right there, which we're going to go on to, is findable from space. Just like that. Well, we're going to have all power to the engines, is what we're going to do, right? The shields. So I'm wondering if the composition scanner... It's going to let me do it. You have that, done that. Go to this tree. Yeah. Simon Ship. Go to this this kind of mound thing over here. That's what I want to scan. Ah, there you go. What is it? Toughened spear roots. Okay. Come on. Simon's got his flat cannons. So they're definitely good for... Let's get back in, do some more scanning. No worries, Astaris. Nice to have you. Nothing found, it says. And we've scanned the trees. Nothing found there. So there's no difference in the barnacles. And nothing in these these coral, coral tree sort of aspect. Ooh, we haven't scanned, we haven't scanned these, if they're anything. Let's have a look at this, get the, get the lights on. Nothing found. Let's 
kind of we've got what we've got. Um, now, can you scan a revenant? Doesn't look like. I don't like it up, um. Enhanced Xeno scanners. That's not happening either because you can't target the sausages. I've got a cheeky beam laser. Who's that? New follower. The Aussie dude. Thank you, the Aussie dude. So yeah, there's nothing too sort of like out there to do. Looks like Jasper's turned up again. I mean, we can, you know, shoot these things here. Those noddies, but they don't seem to want to come out with a conventional beam laser. Oh look, they have. It has. There's the... There's the ball. But, you know, if there's nothing there you can see from... from oh, I, actually, there was. Now, can I be a cheeky bloke? Doesn't look like, does it? Ooh, I got it! I got it! You can scoop it! Doomslayer, now I'm in my private group. Did I get it, though? There you go. Look at this. For science, everyone. For science. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work. There it is. It's gone. So it's not the ideal way of doing things, obviously, but, um... It's a way of doing things. It's not ideal, but it's a way. 
So flat cannons seem to be the most effective weapon against them. Right. Can we see anything? Here. With night vision. When it goes through its guff. Just wondering. Of course, you might not see that guff cloud. You know what I'm going to do, don't you? I'm going to see if I can get myself in it. Well, now, we kind of knew I was going to get stuck. what not to do. There you go. You know it makes sense. Should you get stuck? Kind of what you got to do. So I think we kind of done it. Um, it might be more of the same. It might be more of the same when you go to, you know, another another site. But, you know. I think this is going to be the new material to mine and people are going to get as much as they possibly can. And away you go. Whee! There you go, see? Scooping! John Lee Griffin, 07. Come on. Scooping them up, we are. Scooping me up. Yes, where's all these balls? I think we've probably had that one. But you can see them there, look. Balls everywhere, balls! Yeah, 
I don't think I'm going to be able to... Whoa, I got it. Oh, did I destroy it? How many have I got? Seven. Well, that's seven more than what I had before, isn't it, really? Yeah, I mean, by all means. Have a look what we got. Let's get over there. And there's certainly enough of these sort of like chrysalis sort of things here. There's the ball. What if we can scoop it in midair? I got one. I think I got one. I ain't getting the hang of this. Who says you need an SRV? You don't. And that's another episode of I Well, I Didn't Know That. Right? It's right there, that is. Here we go. Oh, really? Who's attacking me now? We just hear mining, mining your coral. Whatever it is. Coral sap. Oh, there he is, look. Mining away. I mean, it's all right, isn't it? Some you just can't get hold of. Some you destroy with the ship. Yes. Try and shoot everything, that's what I say. I don't think I got any rockets left. I don't think I got any rockets left. Boy, I got two. Oh well. What's that? 
that's just snow by the look of it on on a on a rock. So, interesting stuff. This is goid related content. John Lee Griffin. This is a Thargoid barnacle site, and we've got a new material. But I wouldn't say it's what you call riveting. I mean, it's bloody good, but like, I know what people, I know, I know what you mean. Oh, it's, but there is a new Thargoid ship, the Scythe. I mean, you know. So there is con this is content, and we've had the decadent stuff as well. And you know what? It's a ten-year-old game, isn't it? Who's shooting me? Him. He's shooting me. Get out of dodge. So, interesting stuff. Who knows what tomorrow is going to bring us? I'm going to head on back to the carrier and drop this stuff off. Is what I'm gonna do. Uh, where's my carrier? There it is. Because you never know when this material. Now, I th you'd think more Thargoid ships would have shown up. They have done in the past, just being down or in and around the planet and around some of the other biological sites. Scouts, who knows what, right? It's been pretty good. There you go. Now, who doesn't think that this is a lovely looking game? That's all I'm saying. That is indeed all I'm saying. Right. Oh look, I've been interdicted. There's a surprise. Yes, I'm, I'm currently running for my life with all my new Thargoid coral clay. Go a little bit of light. Social groups. 
There you are. I think you're done. Is there any more? No, I think that was it. All done. We're jumping. Quite an interesting emote. John Lee Griffin. Well, Starfield is... When is it? I think it's what? Big first week of September? As I understand it. My carrier is... Where's the bloody carrier? There it is. There it is. I don't know when to say time to drop off the cargo I think with this oh commander on Andre do you know what Starfield yes I'm sure it'll be fantastic this is the game, but like like Simon's just said, you gotta have the, you can't just be exclusive. Where's the enjoyment in that? Where else can you do that, for example? Like, I've been a big advocate of, of Subnautica, Subnautica Below Zero. Currently also playing Aliens Dark Descent. I'm really enjoying that. And there you go. Let's get that transferred. Transfer all to carrier. Brilliant. Now, since I've been up in work since 7 a.m. this morning, and it's now 20 past 8, and my missus is probably going to be going up the wall. Happy wife, happy life. I'm going to call it end of stream. But hey, thanks everyone for joining on and hopping on. I hope you've had a really good uh, time. I've enjoyed it. It's been great. We had a good exploration of that of those sites. We've done an awful lot of stuff for science. Um, and we've had, good, we've had some good fun. Hope you got your drops. Let's check out next time. Streaming on a Saturday and Sunday, 3 p.m.-ish GMT, or British Standard Time is what we're probably on now at the morning because it's summertime. Um, pop on, see you then. Have a good one, everyone. Take it easy. See you soon.